Hi everybody, welcome back. I am here today to do the second painting of a, the Art Dot 4 pack, Kidding Up for Winter, or Kidding Up Winter is how I titled it this time. <laughs> but first, before I get into the second picture and kidding that up, I want to show you the completion of the first one. So here it is. I really like it. Um, if you guys watched the first one, I had stated that um, I chose this one to do first because of the darker colors. You know, just getting done with doing the fall four packs. Um, I wanted, you know, to be something completely different color wise. So that's why I chose this one. And um, I think it turned out, I think it turned out pretty good. You know, um, it is it is pixelated when you look at it um, in person. When I'm looking at it in the camera, um, it looks definitely more distinctive. Like you can tell that is a church with a steeple and you've got your house here. You've got another house over here and you know, you've got your uh, lake or your river not a lake but like your river going through and you got your nice mountains in the background and the the gradient color really looks good um they they did a great use of colors on this with it only being 16 colors i think that they chose the placement for the shading very very well on this um, I like it a lot. I think it looks really, really pretty. So if I zoom in here, you'll be able to see how pixelated it actually looks. Like, look at that church. Like, it's all, it's got like four or five different colors in here. But when you look at it real close, it just looks, it, it kind of just looks like a blob. Um, the house looks really good. I like the black or, um, I don't think it was actually black that they that we used on this. Um, I'm looking at my leftovers here. Um, now it was more 939 that they used um, as the darkest color as 939. So I really like the outline of that. I really like um, if you, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. I really like the way that the, the lake looks or the, I keep saying a lake. The river looks um, with this reflection there. Um, I think that looks really good. So, yeah. So I'm actually going to um, cut this out and frame it and put it on my wall. Um, got it done. I wanted to get it done for before Christmas because I wanted to have it on the wall before people came over. <laughs> Basically, so I got these frames. It was a pack of um, six um, off of Amazon, and they're just little frames, you know, that will hold this this size diamond painting very well. So I'm not going to do it on camera, but I am going to, like I said, cut this out um, and frame it, and uh, yeah. I will do that and give me one second and I'll be back with the kidding up of number two of the kidding up for winter. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> what was a couple of seconds for you was actually a few days for me. <laughs> it is now after Christmas. I shot the beginning of that um, a little bit before Christmas so that I could post the picture. Um, up. I wanted to have it up for Christmas, so I framed it and it's up uh, on my wall. And now we're back. So I've got my scissors, I've got my Create a Sticker Mini, I've got my Tic Tac containers that I'm going to use, my drills, and my painting. So let's look at the painting so you can see what I am kidding up. This is the third one out of that four pack, and you can see this. This one is a profile rather than a landscape. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. And you've got another chapel in the background. It's a nice snowy day. You've got a deer here. You do have some water flowing through. You've got a tree there. And this one's a little bit lighter. So out of this four pack, I have two dark ones, darker ones, and then two lighter ones. So I figured that I would do a lighter one now and then go back to the darker one and then the last one would be the lighter one. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just ate dinner, so I'm a little froggy right now. <laughs> so let me zoom you in so that you can see the drill field on this, which looks pretty good. I mean, these are small, right? And they're trying to get a lot of detail in here, so it's going to be pixelated. Um, but I think it looks good. I think I think the other one turned out well. So I think this one's going to look really nice as well. Um, I didn't have any problem with the drills on the last one, so I'm not expecting any problems on this one. Yeah. And we've got 19 colors on this. So I'm going to cut this out while I'm talking to you. And we can get ready and kit this up. <clears throat> so how's everybody doing? I hope well. Um, I'm having trouble lining that up and it's after Christmas for me. If I didn't, I, you know, I'm not sure if I actually mentioned that, but it is, um, it's the 27th now for me. So I'm actually a little bit behind. I took all these days off of work and had a good holiday with my husband and, um, his his mother came over on Christmas Eve, and then his friend came over um, on Christmas Day. So that was nice. And um, we got some, I didn't really, I didn't cook. What we did was we got some, we ordered a, Ordered fruit, fruit from the Honey Baked Ham Company, which we did last year. Um, I don't know where to sit this. So I'm going to sit it up here, which we did last year. And we really liked their ham and their um, sides were really good. They have this, they have this, um, what do you call it? A, like a sweet potato souffle, I think is what they call it. And, um... That's really good. It's really yummy. And then we had, so we had the ham, we had the sweet potato soup souffle. Um, we had Tuscan style broccoli and um, cheesy scallop potatoes with it. So that was nice. And we had gotten some cookies from the store. Um, his mom brought over a whole bunch of snacks and cookies and stuff like that. So we had quite a bit of food to eat. And as a matter of fact, I'm still eating it. Like that's what I ate, um, for dinner just a little bit ago when I got off work, came home, had some leftover ham and broccoli. So I will be having a... I'll be having milk and cookies later. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to zoom you in. And we will, I'm going to set this kind of to the side there a little bit. My desk is so messy right now, so you'll have to bear with me. <clears throat> but as I always do, I will show you the drills as I get these out and kit this up. <clears throat> so I went back to work today and... Um, you know, normal day, nothing, nothing major happened. It was quite easy day actually, but <clears throat> I had to, so I think I mentioned this in my last video. I had to, um, I internally, I applied for a job, a different position internally, there's number one, so that I, um, I don't. I like being a supervisor. I like the people that I work with, but at the same time, um, 
there's I've always wanted to go into the planning aspect of the of work, which is um, you know working with sales in order to uh, schedule and plan out the um, the orders. Gosh, I can't think today. <laughs> All right, so these have DMCs on the bags, which is awesome because I would be very confused if they didn't. So this number one is 159. So you can see that pretty color there. And if I'm too close, actually, yeah, let me zoom out a little bit. I think I might be too close. Um, so yeah, so I applied for um, a position for planning, which I was, uh, I'm really hoping that I get. I know the the man, the hiring manager, and I think that I'm not asking for any favors or anything like that. But from what I understand, this job has been posted for a while, and they haven't found anybody. So I'm hoping that I'll get it. Because, you know, like I said, I know the hiring manager. She knows how I work. So we, you know, she knows what to expect from me, pretty much. So this is 160. I hope it fits in this. It should fit in this little container. But, so we have, so what I'm getting at is, they, um, I got a email, an email from talent requisitions department and they wanted me to send them a resume they wanted me to send them a resume um, to pass along to the hiring um, the hiring staff or whatever you know the people that this is way too full. I'm going to have to move to a bigger one. Um, <clears throat> which kind of... I want to... I don't want to move to a bigger one. I want to just fit this in here. Let's see if I can do it. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Alright. New plan. Anyway, so... They want a resume. So, I will tell you this straight up. I have never filled out a resume. Um, I am, you know, 50 years old. Um, I've gotten all the positions that I've been able to get, um, luckily, from just my pure responsibility and work ethic, right? Just me being me. So I've never ever filled out a resume. So. I told them, you know, no, I don't have one, but I'll get one done. But personally, to be honest with you guys, and I know that some people that work with me actually watch the channel, but um, I'm not saying anything really that anybody else wouldn't say, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, I... Uh, I feel they they force us to use this program on the intranet at work that is kind of like you know a, a company LinkedIn right so this color is 161 so it's kind of like a company uh, internal LinkedIn you know you've got um, You've got your your job history in there, um, and you can add other jobs that are not from this company. So you can put your entire job history there. You can put your entire education history there. Um, any any um, work training that you do is recorded in there. Uh, you know any merits you get through your performance is recorded in there. Um, you know, it's a, it's an, it's a hub for basically who you are as a person, your work history and, and how you are with the company. Right? So 
So me, being the person that I am, and being old school, I say old school, <laughs> this is number 318. I don't want to hold it up too high because then it caused cast shadows. So, um, <clears throat> me being the person that I am, I kind of got a little aggravated with it because I feel that if, because we didn't have a choice when they rolled that program that I just told you about out, um, we are forced to do everything through it. So any uh, performance reviews, any disciplinary actions, any um, uh, contributions to the company, like everything is recorded, even your training, like everything is recorded in this program. And we were forced to use it. They said, we're going to this new program. Everybody's got to put it, put their stuff in there. And they built it as a thing that says, well, this is going to help us if you um, want to change jobs. It's going to show your skill set. You're going to be able to, um, our recruiters are going to be able to look up all of your information in case, you know, you have some specialty that we need in a different department. We can move you, all of that stuff. So with that in mind, and this program has been being used for a few years now, all that in mind, I don't understand why I have to fill out a resume, especially because I've been with this company for 11 years. So they don't want, they don't necessarily want to know what I did 11 years ago. Most resumes that I looked up, they really only want like education skills and maybe like the last two or three jobs that you've had. Really, that's it not much so i'm like i to me being the person that i am i'm like this is dumb i don't understand why this number here is this color 336 it's a really nice deep blue so i'm just i was just aggravated <laughs> to you know just just to say out there i was aggravated but I really want this job. I really like the job. Um, I went in when I went into work today. I actually sat down with our HR person and kind of like, kind of discussed it with her a little bit and just said, "Look, you know, I don't understand why this, you know, this is needed because you guys have all my information." And I said, "Just, you know, I'm not upset, even though I was kind of. I told her I'm not upset. I just." you know, want to understand better. Why, why are we going through all of this if you have all the information right there? And her response was, you know, very HR-like. And she just said, you know, because some people still haven't filled their stuff out and maybe there's some skills that <clears throat> you acquired outside of here that you forgot to put on there. You know, that kind of thing. You know, very diplomatic about it. I said, okay, well, I was just just wondering because, you know, I've never done it before. And she's like, oh, well, you know, just use a template. You know, it's just a formality, really. I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll do that. I think this one, I think I can fit this one in here. I don't know if it was as full as the other one. Um, if not, I have another case somewhere that has the bigger ones in it. I'll just have to get it out. Okay, so this is 413. Nice. It's a nice gray color. Um, so I filled it out and I sent it to the people and, you know, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> if I don't get it, get the position, you know, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it'll suck, but I don't, I don't mind the job that I currently have. I like the people that I work with it, for the most part. I like, um, I should say, I like the people who I supervise, right? I like the people that work for me. Hold on one second. Let me grab some bigger ones, bigger containers. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I like the people that work for me, and, and I really 
um, work hard to make sure that they are um, enjoying their job as much as anyone can really enjoy their job. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we all have those days. <laughs> but, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind working with the people. I like it. I actually enjoy the people. However, with that being said, I don't enjoy my boss, to be straight up. I don't enjoy my boss. I don't mind him as a person. Um, like if I saw him out and, you know, we were at the same restaurant or whatever, you know, I'd say hi, not out of obligation just because, you know, that's the type of person I am. So I would say hi to him and see how, you know, him and his family are doing. And I don't wish anything bad <clears throat> or anything like that. I just, our working relationship is not good for me. Might be good for him, but it's not good for me. This is 414, another gray. Um, so yeah, and I've been under him, reporting to him, I should say, for the majority of my career there. And <clears throat> it's just not getting any better. You know, I'm the type of person where I don't necessarily quit. Um, and I say it that way because I don't ever, that's not my first response to anything. My first response is to make it work, you know, to do whatever I can to um, figure out a way to get along and make it work. <clears throat> and honestly, after being, um, reporting to him for nine years, I, <clears throat> excuse me, just don't think... It's not that I can't do it anymore. It's that I don't want to do it anymore. I, you know, I don't have, um, I don't want my final, I say final days of working. I mean, <clears throat> in all reality, I've got about another 20 years unless, unless I find, you know, some way, you know, find some way of being a working from home. Sorry, I cut this without telling you what color it was. This is 415. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I mean, I just, I'm tired of, of being stressed out on my way to work. Um, I'm starting to really have some physical issues due to the stress. And I don't, I don't want that. Hey, I'm not a, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not a skinny person. I mean, I would, uh, you know, I'm definitely overweight. Um, I'm not, it's not easy to lose weight, but I know that, it, I know that the stress makes it worse. This is 613. So I just, yeah, I just, I'm, I've gotten to a point of, um, I just don't, I don't want to work for this man anymore. And my nose is super stuffy, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound clogged. I should say super stuffy. I, I say super stuffy, excuse me, but it's not actually stuffy. My, um, there's nothing in my nose. I know I sniff a lot, but there's nothing like in there it's just that my sinuses swell and so it feels like I'm stuffy but they're just swollen and <clears throat> I am stubborn and don't take Benadryls <laughs> unless it unless I absolutely have to <clears throat> so yeah so I'm hoping that I get this position I'm gonna grab grab a drink <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm hoping that I get this position, and I'm hoping that um, 
yeah, I'm just hoping that I get this position. <laughs> this is number 729. And then my husband also applied for a different job. I think I might have mentioned that. And I'm hoping that he gets that because <clears throat> his experience with the same company, with my company, is not as um, not as as good as mine. And you know, mine really. My only issue is is with my current boss, but um, he does not does not enjoy working for the company anymore. And he doesn't necessarily want to start over. This is 793. He doesn't necessarily want to start over at another company. He's tried getting different positions in our company um, with it not really happening. So he's applying outside the company and I just really hope that he gets it. I really hope he finds something. Um, if nothing else, then I would rather have him um, be in a position where he it's not as physical as what he's doing because I don't want him getting hurt. I worry about that quite some quite a bit, even though he's been doing that what he's doing for many, many years. I still worry about him getting hurt. This is 838. And he's a, he's a smart guy. He's pretty, he's not clumsy or anything like that either. So I, you know, he doesn't, he would never like do something stupid to get himself hurt, but that doesn't mean that it won't happen. And so I just, I just worry about it. So, we'll see. But that's what's going on with us. Oh, you know what else went on? <laughs> Not work-related. <laughs> we actually had... So, I, I'm a, I know that, you know, this cold front has affected quite a few people. I think right now there's, um, the you know, the stuff in Buffalo, the deaths that are going on in Buffalo are really bad right now. And, you know... Anybody who lives out there or has family or is affected by any of that, I'm very sorry. And I hope that um, everything works out and, and, you know, just stay safe, right? Stay safe. This is 939. <clears throat> so, as you guys know, we've had bitter colds. So, we actually, here in Colorado, hit, um, you know, negative... 14, negative 17 on um, a couple of days. And yeah, so our heat decided to die. Yeah, right? I know. My husband went out and got got a couple of space heaters, so that was nice. Um, and, you know, we were okay. Luckily, we have... Um, uh, we pay for like home home warranties, so we put a claim in, and uh, which was nice. They came out yesterday and looked at our heat, determined what was wrong with it, and then came uh, needed to get a couple of parts, and then came and fixed it today. So we were only out of heat for say. <clears throat> couple of days, right? So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we were out. So four days. Not too bad. This is 9.50. You know, it would have been worse if we wouldn't have had anything. There's a drill stuck in there. It, if we wouldn't have been able to get space heaters or anything like that, that's why, you know, I feel for the people in Buffalo who... Um, are being stranded places and can't get what they need because um, I can't imagine. I really, really cannot imagine how s terrifying that must be. What, what number is this? 413. 
So, but we have our heat now, which is very nice. I came home today and it's nice and toasty in the house. And so, yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much all that's happened, you know, on my vacation days. My husband and I played video games. I mean, lately, um, this, this color here is 3072. 3072. So yeah, uh, the video games we've been playing lately is, um, they have a whole bunch of them, but I don't know. I've just, me personally, I've been on this kick of The Sims 4. So like, my favorite Sims game was Sims 3 because it was open world with no, um, no loading screens, and I loved it. And I have it on PC, um, and I've always been more of a PC gamer. But my husband um, bought me an Xbox Series X when, hmm, I'm not sure what it was. I want to say it was maybe... Maybe August. I'm not sure. It was earlier this year. This is 37.52, and with that, that was basically my Christmas slash birthday present, right? The big one for because my birthday is <clears throat> coming up in like two weeks. So basically, you know, that came back in stock at Best Buy. So he picked it up and gave it to me as an early Christmas birthday present. And so, but before that, like I said, I pretty much played all my games on my PC. Well, my, I don't have a desktop computer right now. I have a laptop. Um, it's a gaming laptop. This is color 3790. It's a gaming lap laptop, but it's old. And so a lot of the new games and, you know, all the add-ons and all that stuff, um, it just, just can't handle it anymore. And, you know, I go back and forth whether or not I want a desktop, a laptop, and at that time, uh, due to living in the apartment and not having a lot of room, I decided that I would go with a laptop. And it's worked out pretty well, um, but... I haven't been able to play a lot of games that I like to play. And so, and with that, even with that, like I said, with The Sims 3, um, that's all on discs. And my laptop doesn't have a um, CD-ROM on it. I didn't. I could buy an external one, but it doesn't have a CD-ROM on it. This is 3827. And so... Um, when Sims 4 came out, I, I bought that on my PC, and I was, ups, you know, kind of bummed out, not upset, but bummed out that they went back to the loading screens like they had in Sims 2, and so I never really, really got into it, but where am I going with this story? The whole story is, <laughs> since my husband got me the Xbox Series X, and I know how hard it is to get those, and I know how much they cost... Um, especially because his that he bought when he bought it when it first came out however he bought it off of eBay so he paid extra money for it not just you know retail this is 3829 and this is the last color so he paid he paid off of eBay he paid almost double the amount of what it was what it was being sold for um, in regular stores so I know that they're not cheap. So when he bought it for me, I was determined that I was going to play more console games and, and I'm just not good with a controller. So I kind of had to force myself into playing games in order to get better, more comfortable with the controller and stuff. And it's taken me some time. I'm not going to lie. It's taken me some time because I am not good with multi-use like with thumbs right <laughs> like i know most of you are probably diamond painting and not really watching the screen but if you can look for a minute i'm not good at 
you know, counter moving my thumbs and doing one thing with this thumb while I'm doing another thing with this thumb. I'm not good at it. So <laughs> I'm used to PC gaming where I'm like this. <laughs> All right, you can look away now. <laughs> um, so with that, I, I've been determined. So I got The Sims 4 on that um, because he was playing his and I was like, you know what? I really do love The Sims franchise. I really do like it. So I'm going to get it and I'm going to try it. And I am getting way better at it now. It doesn't annoy me as much as it did before. Um, so lately we've been playing that and it's not a multiplayer game so the way that we play it together is i've said in another video where i have my tv wall mounted on the bottom and his is over top of mine so we can play on two different tvs he hooks up an external speaker onto his tv so you know we've got Able, or he'll use his headphones, but typically he just uses an external um, speaker. And I use the stereo speakers, and we basically play The Sims. He plays his game, I play my game, and, you know, it's very sweet, and it's awesome, and we will sit there for hours upon hours. Like, literally an entire day, we will sit there and play video games. Um, we'll stop for a little bit and eat and, you know, that kind of thing. But we basically are playing video games. So, yeah, we've been, we've been doing that. Um, and we did that on most of the day on Christmas. And, um, he had to work yesterday, so, um, you know, we did as much as we could with people in and out and yeah we had a good time it was very fun um even with no actual heat <laughs> right with no actual heat we did it and it was fun and actually i'll put this down here this time so i can get a better picture like that so that that looks good right for the for the thumbnail I think that looks pretty good. Let's zoom out a little bit more. So yeah, so that was pretty much my my holiday, you know. Um, it was fun. It was relaxing. I didn't have a lot of stress, um, and I really enjoyed that. So this is gonna go up. Um, I'm as as I'm recording this now. When I get done with this, I have to edit it and then upload it and stuff like that so you'll see this actually tomorrow for me but you know today for you Wednesday and then I've got some some stuff planned you know um, a little bit of cool stuff to show you uh, for Friday's video that I need to record which I'll probably record tomorrow and we'll be in the new year right <laughs> All right, so I want to say to everybody, thank you very, very much for everyone who's leaving comments. I am doing my best to reply to all of them. I appreciate it. I love it. Please keep them coming because I don't really have anybody to share this craft with. Um, just you guys. <laughs> so I love it. Thank you very much for that. Um, all of the new subscribers, thank you so much. I don't know if I've said that recently, but... Thank you so much. I can look at my phone right now and see as of this moment, my YouTube studio is telling me that I have 37 total subscribers and that's amazing. I am so happy with that. Um, you guys really, really do make all of this worth it. Um, and I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you for all of that. So yeah, leave a message or leave a comment. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, um, subscribe. If you, uh, feel like it, I'm not going to force anybody to, but <laughs> consider it. 
uh, consider subscribing, consider leaving a like, and um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Have a good day. Bye.